Hello, and welcome to Recovering from the Storm. I'm Callie Nelson with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Today's topic is helping children with stress. After a tornado, it's common for all family members to show signs of stress. It's important to remember that children have never faced a catastrophe of this nature and do not know how to respond. They may have unspoken symptoms of stress that should alert you to their feelings. Children may be afraid the storm will return. They may have nightmares, complaints of an upset stomach, lose their appetite, or have headaches. Children may become quiet and withdrawn. They may resort to behaviors from when they were younger, like wetting the bed, sucking their thumb, or simply wanting to be held. When you see these symptoms, it's time to step in and help. The way children cope with disasters or emergencies often is directly tied to the way their parents cope. Children can detect adults' fears and sadness. Adults can make disasters less traumatic for children by taking steps to manage their own feelings and coping strategies. Help them understand that we can get through this. Your strength and stability will comfort them. Be sure to, first, talk with your child. Provide simple, accurate information to questions. Talk with your child about their own feelings and fears. Second, listen to what your child says and how your child says it. Is there fear, anxiety, or insecurity in his voice? Repeating the child's words may be helpful to you and the child when clarifying feelings. Third, reassure your child. Let them know that we are together and we will take care of you. Fourth, repeat information and reassurances many times. Do not stop responding just because you told a child once or even ten times. Fifth, hold your child. Provide comfort. Touching is important for your child. It assures a child that you are there and will not abandon them. Six, if your child loses a meaningful toy or blanket, allow the child to mourn and grieve. It will help the child cope with feelings about the disaster. In time, it may be helpful to replace the lost object. And seventh, most important, be a compassionate grown-up. Family recovery will go more smoothly when the adults in the household can control their own feelings of stress, anxiety, and fear, and do everything possible to help your child feel safe. You can show your love by doing the following. Spend time with your children. Let them stick by your side. Reassure your children that you care about them and encourage older children to talk about their feelings and thoughts. Answer their questions. Keep regular schedules for meals, playtime, and bedtime as much as possible. This will help to restore order in the family's life. Doing something fun and physical to relieve tension. If these things don't help, you may need to talk to a professional. You can call for help by simply dialing 211. Again, this is Callie Nelson, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to Recovering from the Storm. The Dallas County Extension Office has more information on this topic. Please contact our office at 334-875-3200 or visit us on the web at www.aces.edu. And don't forget, we care about you and want to help you recover.